This is a uh, thermal chemistry problem. So we have two uh, thermal chemical reactions. And for both reactions, we know the enthalpy of reaction. Now our job is to find out enthalpy of reaction for this equation for the third chemical reaction. I prefer to call that this is the target reaction. Okay, so we need the help of the high law. So first, let me label the two known equations as equation one and two. That would ease our job in solving this problem later on. Okay, one and two. Now, I'm going to use the target equation as the reference. So, using that reference, actually that reference will guide us to modify or revise equation one and equation two. How do we do that? First, take a look at the reactants for the target reaction. So we have hydrogen on the left-hand side. Now we try to find out hydrogen in the two known equations. It's in equation one. And hydrogen, H2, is on the left-hand side. Okay, so therefore, for equation one, we do not need to change the direction of the reaction. So we'll stay the same direction. However, the coefficient in the target reaction for H2, that's 3. And then in equation 1, it's 2. And we want to change the coefficient of 2 here in equation 1 to also a coefficient of 3. OK, how do we do that? Simple. We just simply multiply equation 1 by 3 halves. So you see, 2 H2 times 3 halves, it only, now it becomes 3 H2, all right? And we have to do so for all of the other reactant product as well as the enthalpy of reaction. That's what you have to remember, okay? So therefore, that's 1 in front of O2 times 3 over 2. And we have 3 halves here. And then 2 water times 3 halves, 3 water. Okay. And then also we have multiply data H1. This is a data H in equation 1. I will just call that data H1. Multiply that by 3 halves. Then we got this enthalpy of reaction. So that's the enthalpy of reaction for equation 3. That's why I call that data H3. So it comes from actually equation 1. OK, now look at equation 2. So um, we have ozone as a product in equation 2. And then in the target equation, it is ozone actually is a reactant. So therefore, first thing we need to do is we need to change the direction of equation 2. OK, so after that, you see the ozone would become reactant. But we need to take care of the coefficient as well. So in the target equation, we have one coefficient of 1 for ozone, for ozone, and then in equation 2, that's 2. So therefore, we need to multiply equation 2, the revised equation 2, by 1 half. Okay, so two things we need to do for equation 2. We need to reverse it or change the direction. If we change the direction, 
actually we have to change the sign of the reaction okay then multiply by one half okay so first change the direction you see then also would become the reactor and then O2 would become the product okay and then the sign of data H need to be negative now okay and this of course is the result of after multiplying one half if we look at this original equation okay two ozone times one half become just one ozone molecule and then three oxygen molecules multiplied by one half then that's three halves oxygen okay and then of course the absolute value of uh, 285.4 multiplied by one half or divided by two that should be 142.7 so the ne this negative sign is due to the first step so we reverse the reaction the direction of the reaction that's why we change that to negative okay and again this is from equation two so now we call that equation four okay finally we are closer to uh, wrap up uh, the solution of this uh, question so now you see if we add equation three and four then the sum of that addition would give us this target equation okay so let's do that so on the left hand side we have h2 and on the right hand side we don't have any h2 to cancel that so therefore we have to have the three h2 okay now oxygen three halves oxygen on the left hand side and then we also have the same on the right hand side so therefore those two they are cancelled then what else on the left hand side look at the equation two so there's nothing left in equation one would already took care of both of the reactants then for equation and uh, the original equation two or equation four now so that's also one also we just copy that because there are no also molecules on the right hand side now on the right hand side we know this oxygen molecule that's already gone already cancelled then we just have three h2o okay and now let's take a look three h2 that's three h2 in the target reaction one ozone molecule one ozone molecule in the target reaction and then in the target reaction we have three water molecules and now the sum of equation three and four also three molecules all right bingo so this matches the target reaction then the data h is for this reaction is the one that is wanted all right so since we add equation three and four for the chemical reaction we have to do the same for the data h values so therefore the data h of reaction for uh, this uh, sum reaction or equation can be calculated by using the sum of data h3 plus data h4 which happen to be negative 868.1 kilojoules so therefore b 